Hello and welcome to Next News. The federal government of Nigeria on Wednesday reduced by half the commission paid to the commercial banks for receiving revenue collected by the Nigerian Customs Service and the Federal Inland Revenue Service. The banks charge as much as two naira for every one million naira collected by the Customs Service and the Inland Revenue. The acting Comptroller General of the Nigerian Customs, Bernard Shah Mwadialo, reportedly told bank executives that the decision was taken to boost revenue generation for the parastatals. Five members of the Belgian branch of Médicins Sans Frontières have been kidnapped in Sudan's Darfur region. The eight workers were taken at gunpoint from their office on Wednesday evening. The kidnappings came after Sudan ordered the expulsion of 13 aid groups including the French and Dutch chapters of the Health Aid Group earlier this month, following the ICC's indictment of President Omar al-Bashir for war crimes. The Iraqi journalist who threw his shoes at former U.S. President George Bush has been sentenced to jail for three years. A court in Baghdad sentenced 30-year-old Montazar al-Zadi this morning after he pleaded not guilty to assaulting Mr. Bush during a farewell visit to Iraq last year. He immediately said he would appeal. Zimbabwean authorities on Thursday released MDC party official Roy Bennett from prison, a day after the Supreme Court ordered his release on bail. Mr. Bennett, set to become Deputy Agriculture Minister in the Unity Government, was arrested on February 13 and charged with plotting terrorism. Bennett faces a charge of life imprisonment if convicted, and his arrest is an early test for the new government, which Zimbabweans hope will end years of economic hardship. Nollywood actress Stella Damascus has remarried. The actress is said to have secretly wed a Meghan Zerebe in Oroe Imo State, Nigeria, recently. The actress lost her first husband, Jai Abodarin, four years ago. Thank you for watching.